Cake on 9 Sports is sponsored by Casino Del Sol. Now, Cake on 9 on your side sports with Jason Barr. At the NBA draft in Brooklyn, former Wildcat Azulus Tubelis goes undrafted. Some mock drafts had him going as late as a second round pick. That did not happen. Tubelis was the Pac-12 tournament MVP. He played three seasons with the Wildcats. Azulus could still sign on with, a, with an NBA team as an undrafted free agent or, of course, play overseas. That's another possibility. Adia Barnes did what some said couldn't be done. Turned the Arizona women's basketball team from perennial loser to championship contender. Now, with the help of Nike, Barnes wants to make a difference in the community the way she's done on the court. Here's nine on your side's Brianna Isbell on the Adia Barnes Academy of Sports Leadership coming to the Steve Drew Boys and Girls Club on Tucson's west side. This Steve Drew Clubhouse has been a staple in the community since 1957. It was the first Boys and Girls Club to be established in the city of Tucson. But back then, it was just the Boys Club of Tucson. Now, over 60 years later, it has become a part of laying a long-term foundation for young women to be successful in far more than just their sport. What do I want to do where I can touch it and grow it and our players can be involved? And I thought, um, what area, who do I want to touch? And I felt like in Tucson, there isn't a lot of stuff for young women. Growing up, Barnes, too, played basketball at her local Boys and Girls Club. And later as an adult, she made it a priority to join the organization's board upon her return to Tucson. The connection built between Barnes and the organization later became the perfect home for the impact she was ready to create. I, I liked that club because it was really diverse. You know, there's immigrants from all over the world. It was like a melting pot. Barnes was the first WNBA player to start her own charitable foundation and even partnered with the Boys and Girls Club back in 2019 for Girl Power Day. Just to have a program for girls where it's not only basketball. Like, yeah, we can do a lot of basketball. We're having camps. But something that can be taught on and off the court where it's bigger than basketball. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be good at basketball, but you can learn leadership skills. So I wanted something there where it had both elements. I just look at myself and my career. If I wasn't better at other things than basketball, I probably wouldn't be the coach here. That's where the Adia Barnes Academy of Sports and Leadership was born. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Tucson is we do a really good job of connecting to our community, bringing those young members in, and giving the opportunity to a lot of members who wouldn't get these opportunities. Nigel Bigby, the Steve Daru Clubhouse Director, has been frontline in helping to make the Academy come to life. Barnes' intention is to create something that would not only provide long-lasting resources and opportunity for young girls, but inspire them to believe in themselves. This is something that is legacy-driven. You know, you will always get to come back to the start of this program here at the Steve Daru. Clubhouse. Barnes has donated $100,000 to the Boys and Girls Club for the Academy, which is set to kick off over the next few months. The cherry on top of this new program is each year, one lucky athlete will receive an academic scholarship by the end of the Academy's term. It's bigger than basketball. These are future leaders. How cool yeah, is that? That was Brownie's Bell Report.